Welcome to Tommy Toon World. We are back at Disneyland for Star Wars night once again. I have a list of stuff I didn't get to do. Meet Queen Amidala. I heard it's just a walk by though, so I'm still trying to meet her. Hopefully meet some Ewoks and the Jawas. I wanna get some more food too. I'm looking at those desserts. I've been talking about the Wookiee funnel cake, so I definitely did a mobile order for that. Let's go to a galaxy far, far away. You ready? Let's do it. Starting off Star Wars night in Batu. I made it to Galaxy's Edge. We'll go hit Docking Bay 7 and get some uh, Season of the Force food that I didn't get to try yesterday. We're doing Season of the Force before Star Wars night. Ready? So yeah, these do-bag noodles are going crazy. They have uh, ground meat in it. The, uh, they changed the noodles from the Parpadel noodles to the uh, fettuccine. Looks like it has a sweet chili sauce on it. A lot of the Star Wars themed foods have sweet chili sauce. I'm gonna take a big bite this time. It tastes a little spicy. I'd probably say on a heat level of one to 10, I'd probably say like a four. Changing out that other vegetable and putting in the broccoli stems. That's the move. I didn't get to try the do bag noodles in 2022. I definitely would have to say these are five out of five. All right, looking at the map over here to the left is the Ewoks and Critter Country. And then down here is where I wanna go to meet the Jawas. My most anticipated item of the night is not what you think. Yes, I have the Wookiee funnel cake with me, but I am talking about the Braca sub. It has pastrami and french fries in it, plus slaw. This is exactly what I imagined. The pastrami is not too salty, very good flavor. The slaw isn't too overwhelming. I want the main flavor coming out of this to be the pastrami. The french fries add a little touch to it. This is something Disney should keep around. I have to give the Brock a sub, five out of five. I finished the sub. <laughs> five out of five. This is my third Wookiee item. You know, it's a nice size for a funnel cake. cake's only good when it's served warm, right? They have chocolate sprinkles. They have that chocolate belt on top that they put on all the other Wookiee items. They have chocolate fudge on top of the chocolate funnel. This funnel cake is super sweet, but that doesn't let anything go past that is still a five out of five. So I'm really happy that the funnel cake was warm. That's a plus for sure. That's what gives it a five out of five. I'm looking for that fritter pop. Let's go find it. I just hit the Royal Veranda and picked up the Splocks Fritter Pops. These look the most upscale food here. We got two crab claws. They took an extra 15 minutes on top of my mobile order time because the kitchen was running a little bit behind. Mm -hmm. They like deep fried the end. The crab is really hot temperature wise. I feel like I should be eating this in like Napa. Fritter number two. Don't waste it. I'm not throwing these out loosely. Five out of five. 
Now I'm about to go get those Dagobah beignets, freshly made. I'm ready. When they say do mobile order, do mobile order. Because I placed the mobile order for mint julep at like seven in the morning when I was at my hotel. Thankfully I did because the line was insane. They're trying to get these Dagobah beignets. I haven't had a beignet yet from Tiana's Palace, so I'm glad I'm going in with this. You know, they're shaped like Yoda or Grogu. It comes with matcha dipping sauce. Whew. I'm gonna dip it in the matcha first. Oh, it's nice and warm. The beignet is nice and fluffy. You can just sink your teeth into it. It's like you're biting into a pillow. I never thought I would say that. I see why everybody goes crazy over the beignets. So the matcha sauce is a little bit runny, but it goes well with the beignets. They give you three so you can share. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to eat all three. Disneyland desserts do not disappoint once again. I don't do this on purpose, but these are five out of five. The aroma is insane too. Five out of five all day. I suppose that's a good thing. It's always good to be surrounded by friends and Anakin's a very good dear friend. I've seen quite a few red lightsabers. Everyone should know, we're not easily intimidated. Made it over to Tomorrowland. About to hit Hyperspace Mountain. These missions can feel like a high-speed roller coaster type ride in the dark with sharp turns, sudden drops, and stops. However, these missions are designed to be fun and is a wrap for Star Wars Night Day 2. Here we got Mickey and Minnie in the back saying farewell. Please like and subscribe. We're getting out of here. <laughs>